Hello YouTube. Alright, in this part I am going to be showing you um, how to install GNOME, but to speed it up a little I'm going to use this little script called Rank Mirrors. It's already installed in the system, so um, to uh, it automatically optimizes it. Hang on, i got to focus on VirtualBox. Okay. Um, it automatically optimizes the list of servers. You just have to uncomment like all the ones in the United States or whatever, depending on where you reside. Um, and then it will sort through and rank them according to speed, basically. So you get the fastest mirrors, the first priority, second fastest, second priority, and so on. It I've noticed it made a big difference in downloading large packages. Um, so I'm going to log in here. I'm sorry I haven't done a video lately, but I've been fiddling with... Whoops, wrong password. There. I've been fiddling with Arch on this system. I got... Um, oh, shut up, TweetDeck. Um... I got Compiz running the graphics effects, like when you minimize the window, you get like you know the magic lamp and all that jazz. Um, you know, you can do the expose type thing that Apple stole or calls their spaces thing, and it's a real, really big. You know, they act like it's so awesome, but they stole it from Linux. Linux has had that for years and years. Um, as you can probably tell, I'm not that big of an Apple fan. I used to be, but I just don't like how Steve Jobs is dealing with all the iPhone and App Store crap. Um, and breaking down that guy who bought the prototype iPhone from somebody who left it in a bar or whatever. Um, how he handled, how the Apple handled that was completely out of hand. Anyway, enough ranting about Apple. Let's actually get back. So, yeah, we're gonna be installing GNOME. I was telling you about the Rank Mirror thing. So the first thing we want to do is go to. We want to type cd slash etc slash pacman dot d. Okay, I'm going to leave that up for a couple seconds, so it's a little easier to pause if you're following along in a virtual machine or something. Okay. Alright. Now I... Now we're going to do ls. Okay, we got mirror list. Actually, let's just make sure that it works. First, before we go any further, super pacman dash s y. Why I think it is yeah, synchronizing. Okay, good. Actually, we probably want to rerun it just to be safe. And there goes tweet deck again, being annoying. Of course, up to date, extra community, and it should be doing multi level. Yep. Okay. So. Now we want to do sudo cp mirror list to mirror list dot back. Okay, now we want to do sudo nano mirror list. So we're gonna go uncomment uncomment all the mirrors in in the U U.S. You might want to do the Canadian ones too, depending on where you are. I mean, I could probably do that and actually get halfway like, decent performance because I'm in a you know Grand Rapids area. So you want to go here, delete the little pound signs, or whatever they call them. Whoops. Alright, then we hit Control X, yes, so then you hit Y, then you hit Enter. Okay, and then if you know, we still have the backup. So now we do sudo rank mirrors dash N, 10, that tells it to, you know, do the 10 fastest. And then we pass it the mirror file we want to modify. So we do mirror list. And then it might spit out a bunch of errors. Don't worry about those. That happens all the time. And then if we so then that automatically orga, reorganizes the servers. So we have that. So now we want to do sudo pacman dash s and we want gnome gnome dash extras and gnome dash system hang on I gotta look this up let me go to my my pile of notes is getting all messy oh no what do I do installing x no that's all I want ah they're all messed up oh no Okay, hang on, I'm going to pause the recording while I figure it out. 
why did my notes have to get all mixed up? Anyway. Alright, I figured it out. It's gnome-system-tools. Let me focus back on that. Okay, system-tools. Okay, and then this is going to take a long time. We're just going to wait for it to get started. What do you mean it can't be found? Extra, not extras. There you go. And then it's, say, 357.53 megs. So I'm just going to say yes. And I'm going to stop the recording. I'll get back to you when it's done. Hang on, I just want to make a quick point. If you look um, in the, about the middle of this um, virtual box at the moment, you can see that one failed to retrieve, whatever, connection timed out, GTK. And you notice right below it, they downloaded it. That's because it's got multiple mirrors, so one didn't have it, and it followed back to the next fast one. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, so I gotta figure out where my mouse is. Alright, no more pauses again. Um, as you can see, they, it's finished downloading. A couple of them couldn't find from the first mirror, so then, or that mirror didn't respond or timed out or whatever, so then it switched and started downloading from another mirror. Now it's checking the, the integrity of all the packages, and then it's gonna go install them. So I'm gonna pause the video, and then I'm gonna get back to you when that's done. Alright, it's all installed. Now all we have to do is edit the um, Damon's list where we added Elsa, and I'm trying to remember what that was. was that, I think that was pseudo... whoops. Might have paused the... Re nope, I didn't pause the recording. Okay, good. I'm um, sorry about that. So, I believe it's pseudo... I believe it's slash etc slash rc dot conf, and then it's on the bottom if it is. Then, all right. So we're nearly done here. Yep, here. Then right after syslog hyphen ng, you want to type in dbus pal and then gdm, or if you install KDE, you want KDM. Okay, and then you control X, hit Y to tell it yes you want to save, and then you just hit enter to save it in the same spot. Then you want to do sudo reboot. So it's going to kill everything, reboot. Okay, and I'll make it fill the screen. Oh, there. Then boots. See, no fancy boot screen. It's actually kind of a pain to get that to work, but I got it. I don't think the documentation is that good. Documentation for about everything else is really good, but the boot screen, I didn't think so as much. Oh, wow. Bigger resolution here. We're gonna lose, you might lose something, but not much. There, there, see, answer 988. Not very pretty, but if we click ball again, you got an ugly cursor theme. But that's, I'll show you guys how to do that in the next part. See, you got. Administration, you got all your preferences, then you go to applications. Now, what I did is I basically axed everything in here I didn't use, so I axed Ephony and salt the Firefox, it's the unbranded versions, so it's like Katuku or something like that. I just destroyed it. I removed all this stuff because I don't need that. I pretty much used this, the system tools. I basically killed everything in here except sound recorder and volume control. And installed VLC. Um, Office removed evolution, removed a Geeka and the internet and empathy, replaced empathy with pigeon. Um, I just let, I did install the Battle for Westlaw, which is a really good open source game. But anyway, that's it for this part. Thanks for watching, and next time I'll show you how to make this a lot prettier. All right, bye.